I wanted to give myself a challenge today. And that challenge is, can I find three amazing roguelike games that you have never heard of in your life? And I think that I've done it. Today in this video, we are going to play three roguelike games that you have not heard of. These games have under 10 reviews on Steam. In fact, they all have under five at the recording of this video. I'm really excited to show you guys these. There's a couple of really interesting banger games. It's gonna kind of be an indie taste test of sorts. We're, we're gonna check out these three games. We're gonna play each one for about 10 to 15 minutes get a little taste for it and then uh who knows maybe maybe we'll go for a full course of that dish in the future let's hop into our first game this is eat well which is a, a pac-man like roguelike game which i'm extremely excited for let's see what's going on in here so this is us uh a happy little smiley face as we are uh and you'll see that as we you know we we, we can we can go into some of these doors here's all the things <laughs> that you can unlock in the game um and those are uh, i'm assuming like high scores over there we don't need to spend a lot of time with it let's hop into a new run and you can see that we're, we're tossed into what appears to be a pac-man grid uh and every time we get a you know adequate amount of the the little pac-man dots we get an item on the screen so there i just picked up I don't know, like a party hat or something. I, I don't fully understand what it was. It, it feels like I just got a lot faster or, or something. Uh, it also appears that I just sniped one of the enemies. <laughs> and, and that put me into a, a pretty good position. But we're, we're cruising. It's, it's a really unique little game. Oh, you guys are, are a little stunned. I, I like that dot, though. <laughs> okay, we're, we're good. Get me out of here. Now, some of these enemies... Some of they, they do different things, for sure. Uh, some of them look, oh my lordy, we got a little spider bro. These are our spikes, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's not get hit by the spikes. It's all about navigation and pathfinding, man. We, we gotta figure out our, our best path in and out of here while still making sure that we're, we're collecting all the things there are to collect now. I did get hit by this guy. Yeah, okay. So so when you get hit by the one enemy, the, the jellyfish guy, he inverts your controls, <laughs> which is, uh, when, when you're moving quickly, it's, it's a difficult thing to get used to. Okay, things are a little chaotic in here. Oh, hello, Mr. Snowman. And there's like a, a little Plants vs. Zombies pea shooter turret going on. Oh, why'd you turn out the lights? Oh, frick, okay. <laughs> Getting, getting a little chaotic. Uh, a pill. What could go wrong? Okay. Well, we managed to get up to, to full HP. I don't know if that was the the pill that did that or something else. I'm, dude, when the lights go out, it is, it is chaos. Okay, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Okay, hold on. Is this, uh, but this is my way to, to kill enemies. Ah, dude, let's go. Okay. It's, it, it's just got a charm to it, man. It, it's a little bit chaotic, but chaotic is a good thing sometimes in a roguelike game. I mean, you're, you're constantly tackling new wacky things. The enemy design is, is honestly brilliant in the game. Okay, what are you? It looks like, okay, I can shoot now. I've become the snowman. That's, that's pretty sick. It, it, okay, it doesn't last very long. <laughs> Doesn't last very long, and it appears to just stun our enemies, which is fine. I mean, a, a stun is... I mean, a stun is, is extremely useful. You guys are, are... I mean, you're like all around the stuff I need. This is gonna make it... Gonna make it a little, little difficult to, to slide in here. I took a little bit of damage. And you know what? I freaking hate myself. <laughs> okay, get me, get me out of here. Things are still fine. We've made it to 1-5. I do not know uh, how many how many levels slash floors are in this game, but I will tell you that things are looking they're looking a little spicy for Tyler right now. What do you think this does? Okay. I'm gonna assume okay, so when the enemy hits the bomb, bad things happen. That sounds fine to me. Whoa, okay. That does a little launch to Tyler. That's fine. Grab, grab the gem. Still not 100% sure. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, give me out. Give me out. Ah, <laughs> we're fine. 
Still don't 100% know what the gems do. Oh, we're in a little bit of a boss fight. Dude, look at how cool this is. <laughs> this is this is sick. I, I didn't expect a, a boss fight. However, I'm also... I think that these these red things can... can oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. So his bubble... His bubble just stops me, but it does not... It does not kill me, it just stops me, but these these red things can kill me. Okay, he's he's taking he's taking some hits, man. We we have to this is a very intelligent boss fight. <laughs> we have to be very careful to to keep attacks going while also evading the attacks that I'm sending out. And then also while uh avoiding his weird attack, but also him. Like I gotta I gotta not get hit by him as well because i'm assuming that since his little bubble is red around him that probably means that he can hit me okay i gotta get no don't don't do that i gotta i gotta get some some attacks flowing again nope don't do that <laughs> don't do that we know we know we're in for a, a bad time oh lordy okay we're, we're good everything's fine everything's fine i'm not i'm not concerned if we keep everything in one direction, right? So I'm I'm a, I'm going horizontal with everything right now. I feel like that makes it easier to manage not getting hit by him. Are you going to die? It's it's like close. Dude, just move up like a tiny bit. <laughs> I'm not Oh, let's go. <laughs> okay, and I got full HP. Dude, it's a banger. It's a banger. Now, now we're in a, a laboratory of some kind. And we got a, a big old, big old eye laser boy ready to kill me again. I don't really like him. There's also a lot of spikes. Okay, stay, stay away from eye laser boy. Uh, I'm very near eye laser boy. I kind of got to be near eye laser boy though. No, get away from me. When the lights go out, man. All, all that. Okay, you got me. This is, this is a mess. Oh, this is a big mess. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, that was fun though. That was a lot of fun. Send me back in. Let, let's, let's try it again. It's unique, man. It's very unique. I, I love, I mean, it's the first, it's the first Pac-Man roguelike I've ever played. That's for sure. Yeah, you know what? You got me. Yeah, you got me again. Not not the best showing that I have uh, performed to you at the current moment in time. Some of these enemies, man, they they tricky. Like this this little pea shooter, son of a gun. He he requires me to to think even like a, a tiny amount of my brain, and I can't use a whole lot of my brain. So you gotta you gotta cut me a, a bit of slack. I still don't 100% know what freezes the enemies. I think it's maybe the the enemies freeze when I when I pick up all the things. What does the airplane do? Okay, yeah, that's what the airplane does. Liter literally provides a uh, giant giant death spiral all over the map. Okay, what does the weird secret room do? Uh, brother, it's very dark in here. I'm dead. I mean, I'm I'm like super dead. <laughs> Okay, I did unlock an achievement though. Curiosity killed the cat. So I got that going for me. Um, okay. You can see all the different uh unlock methods for these two. So there's a lot of there's a lot of content in this little bite-sized game. Did I mention that this game is less than five dollars on Steam? Because uh you may want to check the description and pick up Eat Well for yourself if you're liking what you're seeing. But let's try to get this game to have uh like a hundred reviews but let's let's just get eat well known because honestly it's a banger all the games you're gonna see today are total banger games okay i don't know what the little iv bag does get out of here no snowman what's your problem <laughs> get, get out of here no stop it <laughs> let, I'm, let me free i don't know what this does maybe if we like stand on it it regens a health nope that is Seemingly not what you do. Okay, I'll, I'll just leave. I clearly have, have not learned too much from this. Okay, snowman, don't, don't come near me. 
Okay, there's a weird bl- uh, it's, a hor uh, it's just actually- Oh my god, he's so bad at the game. He's- he's actually the worst at the game. What is the balloon? I now have this balloon following me around. Um... Anybody- anybody got a prediction? Uh, the balloon is a free hit. And that is me taking a hit. Okay, send me- send me back in. One- one final time. Oh, frick, dude, Cubert's after me. The, this little guy's, like, chasing me down. I really don't like him. Let, let's figure out the, the best pathfinding we can do. Okay, what does- what does Red Gem do? I think Red Gem just gave me more gems. Like, the- the gems that we're collecting on the top. I don't really know what those gems do, if I'm honest. I think that- I mean, uh, I don't know. Actually, I have no clue. I figured maybe we'd see a shop at some point, but I, I have definitely not seen a shop, so... Oh, what the frick? Okay, see ya. <laughs> that, that was a little... A little chaotic. Try to... These these ones that are in corners, man. <laughs> He's getting so greedy. He, he's such a, a greedy man. Just the greediest man of all time. We, we gotta... We gotta be not greedy if we are going to uh, succeed on this one. Okay, I do like... I do like big... big target. Yeah, you know what? I love big target. So this allows me to... to kill people, right? And if I can... if I can kill them, I'm going to get stuff, right? So... I managed to only kill part of the snail. <laughs> okay, cool. So there's the secret door again. Um, I'm gonna go in the secret door again. I don't care if Curiosity killed the Tyler. What is this? Is nothing? Okay. Different color scheme though, which kind of creeped me out. I thought the game was only red, black, and white. I got hit by the damn shellless snail on the way out. That's, that's just... That's just disappointing. Okay, um, we know... Oh, I'm, I'm gonna die again, man. What are, what are you? Uh, my hearts are now broken. I don't know what that means. I did just- I did just kill an enemy. So we do got that going for us. It seems like whenever you kill an enemy, you're guaranteed either an item or health. Oh my god. Oh, dude! All of our hearts are- are half a heart now. Oh, frick. Okay. This is bad. This is- this is what you call very bad. Get- get me out of there? Okay. That's just a- it's just a mean hit. It's just a mean hit, man. Okay, we- we are- we are down to half a heart. That's fine. We're- we're not sweating. We're not sweating half a heart. I can live on half a heart longer than you can imagine. I've been living on half a heart my- my whole life, okay? Just- just take care of business. Very clean. Very clean. Yeah, just- just slip right in. Everything's fine. Everything's a-okay. Leave. Okay, I- I hate Laser Boy. I'm gonna be real, I hate him. I think- I think he's- he's quite literally the worst. Uh, sword? I'm dead. I don't even know how I died. <laughs> but I unlocked a new achievement. So yeah, this is Eat Well. Um, incredible little- little Pac-Man roguelike game. You're gonna wanna play this one. Link in the description down below. Let's move into our next game. Tetragun is a quadrant-based shooter game that released here recently in uh, in May, and it's kind of like a, a, a sub-genre of the bullet heaven, bullet hell thing that's been going on everywhere, vampire survivor likes as I like to call them, but uh, it's a little bit of a, a unique style in this game, um, and we're going to see exactly what I mean. So we do have um, a couple of different difficulties. I'm gonna play on normal because I'm not a little freak. Um, and we got a couple different weapons, uh, some of which are locked behind some uh, some achievementing. So we'll play with the laser cannon to start, and we'll play with bullet storm uh, as our ability. I'm assuming, yeah, our other ones are locked as well. So fire a series of bullet waves in all directions for a short period of time. It's got a two charge speed. Let's just see what's going on here. So this is us. We're in wave green. I can switch my quadrant with uh, WASD here. Uh, and then fire with my, my left stick. So we can kind of, you can see how I have to be in the certain quadrants in order to take out our, our enemies, shoot them where they need to be, and kind of manage uh, our, our tower defense style grid here, map, to take out our enemies. It's kind of, it's also a very, very aim trainery kind of game, if you're into it. But then every time we uh, we get a, a wave completed, 
I get to choose an upgrade. So um, increase the number of upgrade choices in the next shop by one, and then after the next wave, all my stats go up 15%. Seems good. Every few seconds, a laser will be fired across the screen at a random position. <laughs> okay. Okay, that seems fun. So I'm gonna do that. Press and hold fire. Okay, release to spin. Oh, I have spun. <laughs> what is this? Okay, I mean, that was a heck of a spin, I'm gonna tell you, and I have failed. Or maybe I succeeded. Spin successful, no enemy mod activated. Oh, okay. So we, oh dude, did you see the laser? So it's, it's not every time I shoot, but it's, it is, uh, oh, I can also like hold down to see exactly where we're shooting. It's a little less aim trainery, I suppose, than, uh, than before. But this is fine. I do want to figure out what, um, what bullet storm does our, our ability. But I, I'm gonna tell you, I haven't really felt like I'm in any danger yet. What is this? Okay. I think that's just a man with a sniper. <laughs> have I, have I uh, hired an, an armed soldier to, to join me in my, my expedition to conquer Tetragun? I think I may have. Rotation speed plus 50%. Pretty good. Gain some shields. Gain a shield increases a random stat by 15%. Shot size plus 100%. <laughs> Okay, I still, this is a little bit of a strange mechanic, but I'm excited to see what the enemy, well, we won't see it this time. I'm excited to see what the enemy uh, mods are that get added. Cause I feel like that could get kind of interesting. You can see dude, our, uh, our beam has gotten significantly larger than, than it was previously. You can also see, so there is some kind of like score multiplier system in this game. Um, it seems that defeating enemies in a, a pretty timely manner allows us to uh, get get extra points, which is is cool. I don't know what the points are for. I'm, I'm assuming that probably they they relate to doing the unlocks that that we saw a little bit ago. So far, I mean, this is this is simple right i'm i'm cruising through this one i can only imagine that it is going to get significantly harder oh my lord dude there's bullet storm i figured i'd at least try it right we're, we're gonna get it leveled up again so that i can i can use it at some point i don't i don't know how long it takes to actually uh get it get it ready fied but we'll see shot size plus 100 percent. i mean dude you gotta you gotta do it right so, so go ahead, spin me. Pretty, pretty low chance. Yeah, I was gonna say, pretty low chance of succeeding on this one. Um, so enemy mod activated Groove Rock. Blocks your shots and looks good while doing it. Shoot him to suppress his groove. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So now, now we got a groovy rock getting in our way. I'm with it. Kind of interesting. We're also, our, our shot is big. Uh, excuse me, you're, you're moving a little bit faster. Okay, everything is starting to move a little bit. Move a little bit quicker. I'm also missing some shots here and there because these guys are coming in at uh, like horrible angles. Are, are you seeing the angles the sucker is going at? Also, Groove Rock, you gotta you gotta chill a little bit. I will say this game has a uh, really really nice UI design. Like, take a look at the the cursor, right? You can see with the cursor the exact time it counts down before I can fire a shot again. And it's a, it's a really satisfying little little circle that pops in there. I actually really like that. I love the design. I love minimalistic games, um, and this is clearly a, a pretty minimalistic game. Um, it, it, it hits a vibe for sure. I'm I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm excited to see how how wacky and weird these these upgrades can get since I continue to just raise my bullet size until I cover the entire screen. Um, Aftershock, shields additionally knock back all enemies. Gain a blade that orbits you. That seems good. Let's go for future prospects though, right? Gonna increase our stats a little bit. I still, this system's very strange. <laughs> I feel like they could just do random mods and cut out the spinning and it would, it would be fine, but I'm, I'm with it, that, that's fine. Wave purple, oh dude, so the, the other mods stay the entire time. So every time we roll poorly, 
it sticks around for the rest of eternity. Okay. That's gonna make things uh, a lot a lot spicier to, to deal with. Enemies are also starting. They're, they're coming in at a much higher rate. I'd like this upgrade, please. It's a stasis zone. Uh, you're getting extraordinarily close. You're getting close. You're like right there. Okay. Oh, thank you for the wild laser. Our 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 crazy laser is doing is doing some some work now. Things are it's starting to get spicier. It's starting to get spicier, but that's good. I was I was afraid that I was going to to clobber a roguelike the first time that I played it, and that that did not happen. Okay, um, give me the shield, please. We we got shields all over us right now. I probably should prioritize the regions that I do not have a shield. That would be that would be seemingly intelligent. When have I ever done anything intelligent though? Okay, smack ya, move ya, smack ya, hit ya, smack ya. Okay, we love it. Absolutely love it. What upgrades we got? Rapid fire module for plus fifty percent fire rate. Shot size plus 60%, but projectiles knock back enemies. Look, I'm I'm a freak, okay? I'm a I'm a little freak and I'm not afraid to admit it. Um I want my shot size to be 200% or 300%, I suppose is what we're at at this point. Um all stats plus 15%. Look at this beam, dude. Our beam is massive. Our beam is massive and our fire rate definitely increased. So, I don't know what all we have in terms of our stats but you know what we we have increased them for sure uh 15 if we're being you know 100 accurate at the situation so uh i love it i love it things are things are going fantastic smoothly and calmly collect don't block my shot you little you little smooth suave ring or whatever you are I do not like Cool Rock. Was that his name? The Cool Duanye, if you may. Okay. One thing that we should probably prioritize is getting a slightly faster rotation speed, just so we can swap between these areas a little bit better. I will say something. Something to note is if we want to maximize our our movement while still being able to to attack. We would swap to, like, get get a shot off on one of the areas. I just got a Steam Achievement for a warm-up. Oh, you can see it in the bottom right. You can never see Steam Achievements, man. How in the world are you seeing my Steam Achievements? This game got hard-coded to see them, apparently. Okay, Stasis Zone? Don't really know what a Stasis Zone is. I'm assuming that the enemy just gets uh, stuck in there if it goes into it, which is... Uh, Fine by me. Enemy siphon. Enemy eliminations increase a random stat by 0.4. Each wave spawn a foot soldier. Shot size plus 60%. Gain a blade that orbits me. I mean, there's good stuff here. I, I do think that increasing a random stat by, by 0.4 is going to end up being pretty good, right? I, I think that we could end up seeing some, some good stuff with that. So what do we got? Duplication. Enemies can duplicate themselves. Okay, um, that seems, that seems interesting. Good, I, that's not the word that would use for me. Oh, frick, dude, okay, he definitely duplicated himself. That said, um, I got Big Beam. I, I don't know if you've seen my, my Big Beam before, and do not take that one out of context. Um, I, I will not be able to, uh, take any damage from duplicated enemies in, in this situation. My, my Big Beam is just a little bit too strong. And this wild laser that still fires across the screen, I feel like this was like a, a super rare upgrade or something that I, I got at some point that has just kind of carried me. Oh, frick, dude. <laughs> no. I lost. <laughs> it all it all went it all went very very fast all of a sudden. It all went very fast. But dude, I love it. It's an interesting little game. Uh, good take on a, a kind of tower defense, bullet hell style game. Um, some interesting interactions and upgrades and 
I, I know they're continuing to, to put out some updates for it. So check it out. You can pick it up on Steam right now. It's $3. So, uh, you know, well worth the $3 to get some, uh, some funky stuff going. I forgot about my dang ability. Just you play for yourself. Show me up. Let me know how far you make it. Let's hop into our final game. And boy oh boy, our final game is going way too hard with its music. This is Skelly's Ain't Scary, which is a top-down roguelike, came out recently. It's got some rave reviews from the, the four people that have played it. Let's check it out for ourselves. Um, you, you have told me to hit E right here. You've told me to hit E right here. I can have a nice little seat on, on this bench. I can also do that little like slide that you do on the bench if you're you're trying to look really cool. Okay, just, just send me into this pit and, and let's see exactly what's going on. I've got a gun. That's a great start, to be honest. And these, these skellies ain't that scary. Um, new gun, give me your money. I, brother, I ain't got no money. <laughs> I ain't got no money whatsoever. So, so just vibe. We, we out here. It's a, I love, it's, it's got that, like, Undertale graphic, you know, that, that 8-bit kind of black and white thing going on. I, I love it. I really do. I think that it's got a, a super unique design. And the sound effects when breaking those pots was was worth every dollar of the, I think, three dollars that I spent on this game. Um, it's, it's got some good stuff going already. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Get, get away from these mushrooms immediately, though. Whoa, we got, like, turrets in this room? They're, they're, they're going kind of hard already. Like, it's only the first floor, man. I, I don't know what I'm looking for, either. Um, presumably there is... Hello. Nice to nice to meet you. Do I got health? Yeah, my health is in the, the bottom bottom left. Um, I'm plucking this bone out of the ground. Okay, I've collected the bone. Fine by me. I don't I don't know what... What I do with the bone. Maybe I need to collect the bone to get out of the floor. Uh, there's a turret or something, man. Okay. This is fine. Are you an enemy? I don't know. Is this... Can I pick you up? Just just leave. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. What are you... Uh... <laughs> okay. Zombies? Nope. Just 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 a bunch of... Just, uh, just a bunch of enemies. Get out of here, please. Get out of here. Pots in the corner. I'm, I'm waiting to get something of insane value from one of these pots. Okay. What have you done? There's just a happy little guy inside here. New item. Okay. Can I see what it does? Oh, here you go. Uncanny meat. All bullets turn killable. I have no clue what that means, okay? Not not even, like, the slightest clue. Let's buy this, though. It's the Mandalorian helmet. Oh, I got rid of my other item, though. I can only carry one item at a time. Okay, touching enemies causes knockback and damage. And now I can put the bone into here. I understand. Okay, and then that allows me to go down. So when we get the bone... Uh, we can, we can break a little thing and head down. Okay, um, so this appears to be, yeah, a new gun. So now, now I'm running a shotgun. Do I want to run a shotgun? I don't know, to be honest. I suppose I like the shotgun. It's, it's, it's got an insane animation. Are you seeing the animation when using this thing? It's actually incredible, that, that little, that little twisty do that he does. I've never seen a, a sexier little shotgun animation in a top-down roguelike ever in my life. Especially one that has, you know, 8-bit graphics like this. Okay. Big, big fan. <laughs> big fan of the shotgun. I'm intrigued to see. So, how, how many... How many funky guns? Oh, you got me. Okay. It's hard, man. It is a difficult game. Send it. Oh, no, dude. I tried to escape, but the turret was coming. Okay, okay, start me again. Start me again. We we know what's up now. We know what's up. And I have oh, there's a bat directly at the entrance, man. What are you what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Okay. The bats, man! What the heck? <laughs> this is making me getting me all messed up in here. Okay, I think this is like an RPG. No, it's a it's a, a cloud shooter? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a big old dummy. Okay, start me again. Send me down. Get it going. Send it? Ah, bad. Ah, bad again. Okay, we need to we need to become good at the game, and we need to do it yesterday. What is this? It's a new gun. Is this like a, a Tommy gun? No, it's a flamethrower. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, 
we could run the katana. Okay. Katana going going kind of hard for sure. Um, get 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 our flamethrower right back. I I don't know I don't know which guns are are good and which ones. I mean I don't know the meta of Skellies ain't scary. Uh, in case you were, you know, at all thinking that this was a my my magnum opus game of uh, all time. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Is that a robot in the middle of this room? What, what, what are you? Get out of here. I did gain an extra health from that, so I, I suppose I'll take it. Get, get out of here. We can kind of cheese the katana a little bit. It's, it's allowing me to, to do some, some attacking through walls. Okay, send it. I think this was worth it. We, we got an item out of this last time. Oh, uh, that's a lot of bullets. I, I mean, that's a, that's a frick load of bullets, my guy. That's a ton of bullets. I, I feel... I feel in danger? I feel in danger. I'm I'm not that endangered. Get out of here. Come come back up from the, the dead, you little freak. How do how do I get out of here? I killed it all, man. Oh here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, and you just get this guy again. So this guy, all bullets turn killable. I don't really know what that means. But I will say one thing. I suppose that if all of my bullets turn killable. It's probably beneficial for me to use something that has bullets, is, is my bet. Maybe all bullets turn killable means that I kill everything in one hit. And that appears to be uh, just literally objectively false <laughs> immediately upon saying it. So, um, rough day for me, I suppose. Uh, this is not going to go well, I don't think. Just kidding. I think it's going... It's, it went horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's never gone worse. Okay. Dude, what 1 2 is the floor to beat right now? This game's tricky. It's tricky. This is a sniper. One 100%. It's a sniper. Uh it's not a sniper. It's kind of just a I mean it's, it's good whatever it is. It it seems very very strong. There's also a rubber ducky here. Loxodont boot. Giant stone shards burst out of the ground where the player walks. Okay. Uh, is that what the, the very bright screen is every once in a while? Because it, I suppose that seems, that seems fine to me. As long as it's doing damage to enemies, um, I'm, I'm with it. Gives me a bit of an incentive to go stand their enemies. I couldn't find where the heck the enemy was in this room. I will say, whatever gun we're rocking right now, man, this thing, this thing knows what's up. This is a, a very nice little piece of machinery. Okay. Things are things are looking up for Tyler right now. We we got we got a shop. 219. Look, I don't I don't really want um I don't really want a new gun. I like my gun. I will buy this bowling ball though. New item. Nearby enemy bullets are thrown into orbit around the player. Okay. Um can I buy this as well? I wish that I could have multiple items. Shields you from one hit. Also creates a rotating clone of your gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm very intrigued by, by this. We also got a nice little map. Which is nice. Let, let's, let's see. Let's see what happens. Shields me from one hit. And then creates a rotating... Oh, here we go. Okay, right click. I can use my, my item. What is this? A new gun. It's it's a it's a swirly katana. Okay, I'm with it. I mean, dude, being able to to like dual wield our gun right now is extraordinarily cool. <laughs> it's it's super cool. And then the shield to to block me from taking damage. I mean, this seems this seems like an insanely good item, right? Because we we get the shield until we get hit. <laughs> I mean, I, I basically, I could just spam it. I, I got infinite, I got infinite good stuff going on here. I, I think that we are going to have no issues all of a sudden. New item, what do you do? I don't even know what you are. Makes player bullets explode. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. I mean, this is better. I'm going to tell you, it's better. But I do love playing around with uh, a bunch of bunch of funky funky stuff here 
We're also this we're we're back to oh this no this is not This is the the stompy item again. What the heck is this up here? I thought that was a, a thing. No, we're we're back to there, I'm I'm carrying like 15 different items right now. I don't even comprehend how, if I'm honest, because I'm definitely still doing, I'm still doing the the smacks at times. I think this is good. Just just send me down one three. This this is where uh, boys become men is on one three. This this seems like it's gonna be fine. This seems like it's gonna be fine. I'm I'm out here. I'm cruising. What are you? New item? What are you? Drops a bucket that absorbs player bullets and explodes when activated. Okay. So I'm I'm just gonna fill this up like a lot real quick, just just because I'm curious. Okay. It's a great sound effect. I mean, it's it's a top tier sound effect. Send it. <laughs> okay. I expected a, a tiny bit bigger explosion there, but that's fine. Can I kill the shopkeep? I cannot. What is this drill? Okay, it's just a little a little shooter thing of sorts. 120 for this sucker. What what are what are you? Destroy all bullets in the room. Okay. I mean that seems good too. Not as good as this. I'm 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 gonna continue to probably just run the same thing, but now we get to fight Beelzebub. And uh, he seems he seems problematic is is the word that I'm gonna use. I I can't kill these bees. So, so that's fun. I'm gonna die in this room. Uh, I'm just forewarning you right now. I'm I'm going to super die in this room. Th this game is somehow like overpowered and too hard at the same time. <laughs> Dude, it's it's. I don't know how you. I don't know how you escape that room right there. That's a tough boss fight. That's a very tough boss fight. Uh, what a what a wacky, strange tough little game with some some really interesting unique mechanics uh that exist in this check this one out you can find it linked in the description down below you can pick this up right now for five dollars five dollars for an incredible little game uh so please go check it out uh play some skellies and scary see how far you can make it and uh yeah that's gonna do it for for this episode Thanks for checking out three unknown roguelikes with me. If you enjoyed this style of video, I made a couple of videos uh, back uh, a couple months ago called the Indie Taste Test. And it was essentially the same format, three games, uh, 10 to 15 minutes a piece. We were looking at some, some hidden gems that were out there. Go check them out. You're, you're gonna enjoy them a lot. Thanks so much for watching. Go check out these games, leave reviews for them, play them, enjoy them. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.